Strawberry Joe, Strawberry Joe, here's a little story about Strawberry Joe. Strawberry Joe, Strawberry Joe, here's a little story about Strawberry Joe. Hello, Matthew here, and I've got another story for you about Strawberry Joe. This story is called Strawberry Joe and the Big, Big Birthday Card. So if you're sitting very comfortably, then I shall... Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Then I shall begin. Now, Strawberry Joe has got lots of friends. He's a very happy elephant, and he gets on well with people. And because he can fly, and he flies very well, he's got friends all over the world. Sometimes, when he comes back after visiting them, he brings me presents. Once he brought me a big bag of pineapples, which was nice. Another time he brought me a big box of sea slugs, which wasn't nice. Anyway, of all his friends, his best friend, I mean apart from me of course, is Rabbit John. Now, Rabbit John is not actually a rabbit, he's a man, quite an old man, but he's always got a rabbit. He's always had a rabbit, not the same rabbit, because you see, rabbits don't live as long as humans do, so sadly sometimes his rabbit dies, but he gets another, and he always gives his rabbits the same name. And that name is Starsky. Yes, it's a very good name for rabbits, Starsky. And Rabbit John loves to spend time with Starsky. They watch TV together. And sometimes when Rabbit John is doing a jigsaw, Starsky sits next to him and she points out pieces that could be put in. Anyway, why am I telling you all this? Oh, yes. The other day, I was talking in the garden with Strawberry Joe and he said, Hmm, tomorrow's a very important day. It's really important tomorrow. I said, why? Is it somebody's birthday? He said, yeah. It's Rabbit John's birthday and he's 200 years old. Really? I said, is he? Well, maybe not 200, said Strawberry Joe, but he's very old. Ah, I said, and, um, well, we, how, how, what are you going to make for him? Well, I thought I'd make him a card. I've got a special idea. I said, that's great. Can I help you? He said, yeah, I might need your help. Well, I, I said, I've got paper. Here, here, some paper. And Strawberry Joe said, hmm, that may not be big enough. So I said, I've got another bit of paper here. How about this? And Strawberry Joe said, Hmm, that may not be big enough. Okay, so I said, well, I've definitely got a big piece of paper. How about this? And Strawberry Joe said, Hmm, no, it may not be big enough. So I said, what's your special idea? Ah, said Strawberry Joe. You see, I'm going to fly above the park and I'm going to pull the birthday card behind me and everyone can see it. Ah, what a wonderful idea, I thought. But that's going to be a very big card. Yeah, that's going to be a big, big birthday card, isn't it? Yeah. So how on earth are you going to make that? Oh, I've got a plan. OK, I said. And then Strawberry Joe said, told me to meet him in the park that afternoon with some friends. I was very excited. What is this plan? How on earth are we going to make such a big, big birthday card? Well, that afternoon, I went with some friends and we were sitting in the park. We went to the middle, the most open bit, because we knew that Strawberry Joe would be flying in and we wanted him to be able to see us quite easily. And, and we sat there and waited. 
and waited and waited. And while we were waiting, we played a game of sit down, stand up. Uh, do you know it? Some people stand up and some sit on the ground. And then some of the people sitting on the ground stand up and some of those standing up sit down. And well, it sounds a bit silly, but it's a lot of fun. And we were having such a good time that we forgot why we were there. And then suddenly someone said, look, ah, and here he came flying in over the trees and then coming closer over the bandstand with his shadow following him on the ground, his big ears flapping slowly like wings. Here came Strawberry Joe and though he's quite big, he lands very gracefully and he landed just beside us and coiled up in his trunk was something big and white. <laughs> He rolled it out in front of us and we could see it was a sail from a boat. You see, Strawberry Joe has a friend called Sailor Sam. Now, Sailor Sam has got lots of boats and he had a spare sail. So he gave it to Strawberry Joe who brought it and we laid it out on the ground and it was like a triangle. Well, maybe a bit like that. But perfect for making a big, big birthday card. But then I thought, well, this paint, I brought some paint with me. And I said, that's not going to be enough paint, is it? He said, oh, I've got some paint. I'll go and get it. Bye. And then he just flew off. Well, we waited. And while we were waiting, we played a game of what's that under the sail? Do you know it? It's easy. All you need is a big sail. You could use a sheet and one of you goes underneath. You take turns to go underneath and make a noise and then everyone else has to guess what's that under the sail. When it was my turn, nobody guessed what I was. I made the noise of a porcupine. Do you know what a porcupine sounds like? I'll let you in on a secret. It sounds like this. That's the noise of a porcupine. Anyway, we were having so much fun with this game of what's that under the sail that we forgot why we were there. But then suddenly he said, look up and there, ah, oh, here again, Strawberry Joe flying in. And this time he was carrying a big barrel. We opened it up and it was full of thick black paint. Wow. Oh. Uh, but we're going to need brushes, I said, because I'd brought a little painting brush with me and it wasn't big enough. He said, don't worry, said Strawberry Joe. And he went behind a tree and he came back and he had some brooms, some brooms, some brushes that you usually use for brushing the floor. But they were just big enough for us to paint on this huge sail. So that's what we did. And on it, we wrote the words, Happy Birthday, Rabbit John. Now, Strawberry Joe didn't do any of the painting of letters because he's not very good at spelling, but he did draw some rabbit ears on the side and they were sweet. So then once we'd finished making the big, big birthday card, I said, oh, but how are you going to fly through the air with it? How are you going to hold it? He thought this one through as well. You see, because it was a sail, it has ropes attached to it, which you use to pull up on the boat. So they made an easy harness for him to pull it through the air. So I said, what's the plan for tomorrow? And Strawberry Joe said, well, meet me in the park tomorrow about midday. Yeah. I said, OK. And so the next day, Rabbit John's birthday, we all met in the park. Now, it was a Saturday, and so the park was full of people. But I looked over, and by the bandstand, there's a bench we like to sit on. And a lot of our friends were gathered there. So I went over. I'd brought some lemonade, and somebody else had brought some cake. And then, who should I see coming towards us? I said, hello, Rabbit John. Oh, and hello, Starsky. 
And Starsky went, <laughs> which is the way that she says hello. And then I said, happy birthday, Rabbit John. And he said, oh, is it my birthday? I said, yes, yes, it's your birthday today. We're going to have a party. We've got cake. Cake? Why bother with cake? Why go to all that fuss? It's funny how some old people don't seem to like birthdays, even their own birthday. Anyway, once we got eating the cake and drinking the lemonade, he looked a lot happier. And then he said, where's Strawberry Joe? I said, I'm sure he'll be along in a moment. But I was thinking to myself, where is Strawberry Joe? He's very late. Anyway, we carried on. We had a good time. Even Starsky tried some of the lemonade, but she didn't like it. Rabbits don't like sweet things. But luckily, we were in the middle of the park, so there was a lot of grass for Starsky to eat. Now, after a while, still no sign of Strawberry Joe, and Rabbit John said to me, he said, right, we've got to be going. Um, there's a programme that Starsky wants to watch on TV. I said, oh, just wait a bit longer. I'm sure Strawberry Joe will be here soon. And, and uh, Rabbit John said, oh, well, I'm sorry, we've got to go. We've got to go. And he turned to leave and walk away. And I thought, oh, no. Oh, no. What a shame. And then Starsky pointed her paw up at the sky. And we all looked. And there, coming in from over the hill, and over the trees, and towards the bandstand, but very high in the air, was Strawberry Joe, pulling the big, big birthday card. And he flew all the way around the park, and everyone was stopping and staring. And Rabbit John got out his glasses, and he looked, and he said, Oh, oh, oh. He was so happy. He could see the words that everybody could see flying in the air around the park. Happy birthday, Rabbit John. Well, Strawberry Joe then flew once more all around the park. And then he flew once more all around the park. And then he came towards us with his big ears flapping slowly and gently, gracefully, he landed just beside us and he walked up to us and he said, oh, Happy birthday, Rabbit John. And Rabbit John said, Thank you. That's very nice. Thank you. That's lovely. I'm very kind. Thank you. And then Strawberry Joe said, I'm thirsty. And he looked around and most of the lemonade had been drunk. So he looked a bit worried. And I said, don't worry, Strawberry Joe. I've kept a bucket of lemonade behind just for you. And I reached under the bench and I got out this bucket of lemonade and Strawberry Joe stuck in his trunk and went... <coughs> and he looked very happy. And Rabbit John said, This is the best birthday I've ever had. Thank you, Strawberry Joe. Hmm, said Strawberry Joe. And then he said to me, I'll race you back home. I said, that's not fair. You can fly. You'll get there much faster than I will. No, said Strawberry Joe. I'll carry, I've got to carry the sail and the, and the barrel and stuff. I'll be slow. Well, I walked back. I ran back as fast as I could. But even so, Strawberry Joe was back before me. And that is the end of the story of Strawberry Joe and the big, big birthday card. Oh. Strawberry Joe, Strawberry Joe, that was a story about Strawberry Joe. Strawberry Joe, Strawberry Joe, that was a story about Strawberry Joe. Bye. Strawberry Joe, Strawberry Joe, here's a little story about Strawberry Joe. Strawberry Joe, Strawberry Joe, here's a little story about Strawberry Joe.